This is Raptor News. I was watching Brother James Sinke's video the other day. And he said a lot of good points in that video. But he said that um, someone told him, why do you trust and support someone whom you've never seen? And I'm like, wow. Here I am opening up the scriptures because it has nothing to do with me. You know, it's all about salvation. And you are reading along with me and you could see for yourself. You know, why do you need to trust? Well, we haven't seen them, so we can't trust them. You could see your wife and your husband for 20, 30, 40, 50 years and you still don't know or trust them. That makes no damn sense. I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm asking you to believe in the Most High God alone. Like God said, watch this. I am correct. I did say that God said right here, make not gods alongside of me. There are no gods beside me. We can all clearly read what God says in the Old Testament. And this is the Most High God speaking that never changed. Then all of a sudden, you got a God in the flesh next to the Most High God at the right side. A Lord sitting next to your Lord when it's only one Lord and one God. In the Old Testament. You should know you was being deceived. You know the Old Testament came first and there was no Jesus next to the Most High God. I'm just asking you to stop committing idolatry, which is adding another God, a second God, or multiple gods with the Most High God. And he's saying it's despicable that you're doing that. I am God alone. He didn't say, I am God with Jesus. God in Christ. He never said no things like that. There was no prophets worshiping Jesus, Jesus, Christ crucified. And we know it. None of our prophets ever mentioned them. We know they tamper with the New Testament and the Old Testament, but all of this is verifiable. Why would your God says that he going to destroy all the gods from under the heavens and the earth? He going to he going to destroy and send everybody who worship another gods to hell. He's saying this is the sin that how can I forgive that sin and everything else? And the New Testament is saying that if you commit idolatry, that you are going to the lake of fire. How are y'all blatantly be polytheist in a monotheistic religion and add another God. And I'm telling you blatantly the truth. Now, whether you believe that truth or you don't believe that truth, that's your damn problem. I never said I was no prophet. My shit is all up front. A warner. Did everybody hear me warning you about the planet and everything else? Yes. About the weather? Yes. About the economic collapse? Yes about storing food up and everything that's for your benefit yes about going to hell for committing idolatry worshiping the god of the flesh yes i'm telling you nothing but truth and then you got some jackass saying you can't trust him because you can't see him that don't make no damn sense when you go to the store and you read the damn ingredients and it says pure cane sugar that's organic it's saying olive oil, that's organic. It's saying sea salt, that's organic. On the label. You sure do trust that and put that damn organic Twinkie in your fucking mouth. Here's a man showing you the damn scriptures. And you could read along with me. And you saying you can't trust me. Here's a man going out with his camera and filming two fucking moons. Verifiable. You can't believe with your eyes seeing my camera lying too. Here's a man filming two objects by the sun. Multiple times. You can't believe that. Here's a man telling you that the global warming is coming from a heated ass damn planet out there. You gonna believe them saying that it's heated because it's tilted on the axis. Get the fuck out of here man. And so, I'm doing a good job at warning. 
I'm doing a good job of watching our skies and our planet, you know, our economic uh, uh, position, the war, everything. And I'm reporting this information to you out of love for the Most High God to you. You know, not for a payment, not to juice you out of all your money, not that I came up with some scheme. I do this because I don't want nobody going to hell. Maybe I got a heart and you a lizard. You wasn't born with one. Maybe that's it. I'm a messenger and I'm delivering this message like no other. I'm backing up every motherfucking word I say and standing on what I say, which is the law. You know, I am of the house of Levi. I am a royal preacher. How you know you from Levi? Bitch, I'm preaching and I'm preaching right. That's how I know. You know. And so, um, another thing I wanted to say, just like I said, you believe that label. You go to the store and buy a $2 paper on Sunday, and then it says, the weather says a 98% chance of rain. You don't know that motherfucker, but you go out to the sky and say, oh, yeah, they got clouds out there. It might rain today, y'all. Roll up the windows on the car. Then you got to see that motherfucker to verify that shit. And if it don't rain, you're going to call the damn paper and say, y'all niggas lied to me. I don't believe in the newspaper. I ain't buying from y'all no more. You're going to go, even if the, it didn't rain and shit, and they said it was going to rain, you're going to still go buy that $2 paper. You just lousy as fuck, man. Well, we just don't believe godly people. You know. She believe sorry, Sakari. You know, nigga at the strip club still in the motherfucking game. Supposed to be on the damn corners preaching the damn word to you. Preaching some false ass damn God to y'all. And y'all licking his fucking ass until y'all see that nigga. He exposed his own self. Gang banging and, and, and sticking dollars up bitches asses. And saying on, on the Passover, supposedly, all, all while he preaching, nigga by night, preacher by day. You know, you don't see me doing all that shit. I'm out here trying to live a clean life with the people on the land and get us all into the kingdom of God by obeying his commandments, law, statutes, and decrees. You know, and all of a sudden, I'm a motherfucking nigga with an agenda. Y'all niggas need vomit in y'all face, man. With that said, I'm going to move on to the next thing, man. Because, you know, if you can't trust me, motherfucker, turn and don't listen to me no more. Fuck, ain't nobody asking your bitch ass to stay here. I'm trying to tell you the truth and do what's right. And the most I got is guiding me and giving me information. He don't give other people. Anybody who watched my videos long enough, you know. I have told you something nobody else have told you, and it's very fucking fireable. I mean, something working with me that's fucking right. You know? With that said, I said that according to the lunar calendar, not nothing else. I didn't say the Most High God told me. I didn't say a spirit. I didn't say the voice of the Most High or, or the Archangel came and spoke to me. I didn't say none of that shit. I just said that according to the lunar calendar, calculating the days that August the 9th is the day we were exited before and when we had to exit Exodus, we exited Israel. And then watch this. God did tell Moses about the Exodus. He did. The, the Exodus is not the end of time. The Exodus is the, is, is the freeing of God's people from captivity. It's the lifting up the the the, uh, the yoke off of us, right? And so uh, it's a form of salvation from the oppressive nations. And so when did God say it was? He said it was the month of Abib, the, the new year, right? The new year ain't in January. The new year is in August. The Jewish people are wrong Mostly like the days of Noah, uh, even Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, the majority of people are wrong. They always been wrong. Only a few know. You know, narrow is the path, man, and that is so true. So anyway, 
if we're looking at the signs that's happening right now, all of this murder, 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 theft, drugs, uh, rape, um, human trafficking, uh, all this evil shit they're doing to the children, you know, the things that we see, you, you see things in the sky right here, right? You're seeing those objects, man. People are filming them all over the place right now. Could it be an exodus on the 9th of next month? It could be. Am I saying for a fact that it is? Hell no. Somebody will say next month. Oh, it's August the 9th and nothing has happened. Yeah, the news. The hard-headed motherfuckers who can't hear. And I'm going to say this. If something don't happen by August the 9th, we're going to have a hell of a 2022. That is facts. If we don't get taken out of here, God's chosen people by the Most High God himself and delivered to our own land again like God promised us, next year I can guarantee you 2022 would be the worst fucking year in mankind. I guarantee you that everything is going to fall down and the military will be called in guarantee you that that it, you ain't gonna even recognize the world you don't even recognize it now am i saying for a fact that we're gonna get raptured or taken out i'm not saying nothing about the rapture i'm saying an exodus is going to happen like god said it was going to happen he is going to return his people when he told us to observe the month of Abib and to remember it and that's all i'm doing i'm, I'm being obedient hate me for that fucking shit Am I saying something is sketched in stone? No, I ain't. I'm saying let's just watch this date because it says right here, watch fucking man. And that's what watch a man do. It, it didn't say that the, uh, 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 what do you call it? Prophetic man. That every time I speak, those words are the absolute truth. No, we believe God. You know, if I tell you then, that a spirit came to me and said something that, uh, wrap the news, something is happening on the 9th, warn the people. And I say it like that. Something is definitely happening on the night. A spirit came and warned me of this. That's something different. Now call me on my shit. Then I wouldn't be able to trust the source that's talking to me and you wouldn't be able to trust what I say. But if I'm saying that we don't know, I don't know. I'm just being obedient by observing the month of Abib and remembering that date that we were took it out of captivity before. There's nothing wrong with that, man. People make something wrong out of everything you do because they hate the fact that they can't worship the God of the nation. And you said something about that, you know. And so uh, I'll say this, people, that shit has gotten bad. And we all see that. This is the worst I've ever seen it. And you've seen it. And we all seeing things in the skies. And, and we seeing them signs. We seeing things we have never saw before. This has turned, this world has turned to straight madness. And we living in this madness. Now we see people like, you have the news telling us to free the city. I'm staying right here. Stay there. You're going to get eight in a minute. If you can't help it, that's something different. But if you can get out, get out, right? Get out. Because, like I said, these people are shooting. How you like the cities now? They carjacking, ain't they? They going right into stores and stealing what they want, right? They turn into savages. The government and the people, they all demon fight. You know, and then when God said flee the midst of them, now you understand them. Because they monsters, you know, and we're trying to worship the Most High God. They're worshiping themselves and many gods. We're going to see what happens in just a few moments. This is Wrap the News.